Is this beautiful or what? Wow. should have been running your camera. Man, I forgot that thing sloped up. <laughs> I thought you was faking it. No, uh-uh. If I show it on video, I'm gonna tell everybody I faked it. And it's probably gonna look pretty good on video. Did you, did, was you filming? Yeah, I just turned it on to catch you. And I forgot the freaking ground went up right there. So here I'm running on flat ground, all of a sudden, whoop. <laughs> oh my oh God. My God. That's a good fake, wasn't it? So that guy goes for it. Hey, what What's is up? going on, man? What's up, man? Secret handshake. Yes, yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> B-roll, baby. B-roll. 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 What in the heck is going on here? Watching the master, and he has his rods in a tangle. Usually, when he tangles stuff up like that, he don't mess with it. He makes me come over and get everything tangled because he don't feel like he has to untangle his own rods. Well, why should I? Well, I agree. When you're fishing with me, I do all the work. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, a lot of times, Thomas, we don't show everything on video, but a lot of times I have to cast his rod yeah. and I wait for a fish to hit. And then when the fish is hit and I set the hook, I got to paddle over to Thomas and hand him the rod. And look, sometimes he's anchored up, you know, he's getting thick, but you know, I. I got I got an image, so you know, try I, I gotta I gotta put the board to work. Yeah, yeah, the image is a prima donna. Yeah. He's a privileged, famous YouTuber, and you know, if you want to fish with him, you gotta agree to work. Twenty-four hour challenge today, right? I I am fishing for fun with slash. you slash the twenty-four hour challenge with Justin Johnston, kayak catfish, and Denny Ransom tactical kayak angler so part of my day is going to be spent trying to just find as many species as possible gotcha. Gotcha. the other part is just me and you having an awesome time and we're going to have it too absolutely and we have never seen the water this clear it's no, amazing no, this water is absolutely clear as a bell right now i mean you can see just here from the bank i don't know how it is out there I don't know if I, I don't, you probably see. Can you see the? Can you see the bottom? From oh yeah, I can. I can see. I can go out here. I'm all the way here to the end, and I can see clear to the bottom. That right there is so six, we, seven feet right yeah, there. So we probably have what ten foot maybe. Easy, fish? easy. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I hadn't, I hadn't fished water this clear all year. So Dude. it's gonna, have, it, you know, it may be, it, it's gonna be a little something different. So we can't say that. It was murky and the fish could not see our baits. <laughs> True. That that True. excuse is out yeah, today, it looks that's, like. That's, that's out the window. That's something Mark Patterson would do. Yeah, well, you know. If he don't catch a fish, oh, you know, oh the water was murky. They couldn't see my my baits. Yeah. I mean that's that that's just uh something from the master. You if you hang around that guy too long, you learn little things like that. Oh yeah, guess where I'm heading? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look to your right, to your right. <laughs> Get that whopper plopper ready. <laughs> Look at them, they're just busting over there. Yes sir, whopper plopper is coming out. I hate to use the whopper plopper on these fish so early in the day. Yeah, I know. It's 
It is not fair. All right, for the record, y'all, today is August 31st. And today is the final day for me to fish the challenge, so I gotta, I gotta produce. I need to produce and Justin and Denny need to have a day of complete fishing failure. Hate to wish it on them, but a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. So, right there, put the hex on Denny and Justin. Right there, the Adventure Outdoors hex. You don't want none of that. They might as well pack it up and go home. You know, I'll tell you what, I put the hex on somebody once and they went they went straight to hell. And I'll tell you who it was. It's Tiger Woods. I put the hex, I put the jinx, I put a spell, I put the voodoo mojo on Tiger. After all that crap, he went straight to hell. I did. I really did. I put I put the voodoo hex on Tiger. And I did it publicly in front of some friends, and he went straight to hell. Just, just a little warning, Thomas. Don't get on my bad side. Thomas, smart. Thomas ain't gonna get on my bad side. You'll never catch. You'll never catch another fish if I voodoo hex you. Hey, Thomas, man, I need a favor. Yeah, man, what you want? Hey, listen, you know I'm in that challenge, right? Yeah, yeah, I think I think you can beat them guys, you know, how can I help you? All right, listen, if you catch a fish today, I'm, I'm going to come over to your kayak. I just need you to hand me the rod and let me reel it in and claim it as my own, okay? All right, man, that's cool by me. You know what, my darn SD card filled up. On which one? On, the, on my hat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, I'm hung. Oh, All right, I believe we got a fish on. Fish on. catch a lot of these out here trolling I catch them every now and then usually have to go to a spot <laughs> make sure you come close yeah, boy, got all that river over there. Make sure you come close to me. Exactly in the same direction you see me fishing. Make sure you run that motor right through the area that I'm going. Instead of moving over 100 yards, you effing douchebag. today very small bass as usual a small fish on the whopper plopper hold on he's frisky there he is point number two it's been a while man uh oh uh oh over here not paying attention fish on I think Yep, got something pulling. That's cool. 
and we got a bluegill otherwise known as catfish bait and I have no idea where Thomas is I do not see him anywhere said he was going up river I might need to call just to make sure he's okay I guarantee it landed a big fish by now. I'd have got that phone call. That is a Thomas Barlow guarantee. If that boy catches him a big fish. You gonna know about it. What I need to do is work with him on his woo. Last time I heard him do a woo, it wasn't, wasn't all that impressive. So, if I heard a big woo echoing, I would know. I'm using this bone whopper plopper. And this is the 110 size, I think. That's an amazing little lure. I love this thing. I love whopper ploppers. All right, I'm gonna go get a fishing report. I'm, I'm gonna get a fishing report from Thomas. I hadn't seen him in about an hour and a half. I know he's probably done awesome. All right, let's hear it. What what do we got? What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Go just just get this skunk out of the boat. Are you trying to be normal like us average folks? What I am doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thomas Farlow has got skunked out so far. I am totally, that ain't gonna last long. I am totally skunked. Well, I've got four or five bluegill. Or uh, I'd like to get a few more, but we can at least drop some bluegill down. All right, Thomas just hooked up with a whopper plopper. Yeah, finally. It ain't I big. The skunk is gone. The skunk is gone. It ain't big. That's what she said. <laughs> but the skunk is gone. Oh yeah, there we go. Let it go, T. Yeah, there we go. Whopper plopper, deadly whopper plopper. Well, hell, I'm just going because of the kind of guy I am. I'm gonna throw exactly where Thomas threw. <laughs> I'm not proud. But see, here's the difference. Thomas throws there. The fish love him. They jump on it. I throw mine right on top where he was, and look, all I'm doing is reeling in a whopper plopper. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, that was a big fish. There he is. I should have thrown it over. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that was a big fish. Come on. I just want to catch one. Out of all these pops, let me just catch one fish. I'll be happy. Right about here, Thomas had to leave. I think he had to do some seminars this afternoon and maybe a couple TV interviews. All right. Finally. He's a dink, but he's a point. And I got my catfish I came after. Yes. Okay, y'all, okay, it looks like I'm in the final moments of the summer kayak fishing challenge. I thought I'd throw a few times under this boathouse to see if I could scare something up. Doesn't look like much is gonna happen, so it's about time for me to leave. I'm gonna finish today with three points possibly four but three for sure i'm gonna have to go to the internet and check out that catfish um we started with six three tapped out and now we've got three left myself denny ransom and justin johnson their links will be in my description so check them out uh who knows how this thing denny had a two-point lead it's his to win or it's his to lose so 
Uh, unless he has a really horrible day, I expect Denny is going to win this thing. So, Denny, I hope you have a really horrible day, buddy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Because I know some of y'all went to their challenge and just let them have it. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. So may the best man win. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Hey, my bobber disappeared. <laughs> nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just getting ready to leave, say goodbye. Caught a nice little bass. Caught him on a one inch gulp minnow under a bobber, old school. But to no avail because I've already caught a bass today. So other than it just feeling good, doesn't count as a point. But is it? It is a good way to leave, though, you know? There he is. Okay, y'all. All right, there we go. He bent the crap out of the hook. Video.